The honorary state degree is the highest award presented to an individual by the California FFA Association. The purpose of this award is to recognize individuals who have rendered outstanding service to California agricultural education and the California FFA Association. These individuals have worked countless hours to serve agricultural education or the FFA. It is my distinct honor to present to you this year's honorary state degree recipients. It is always an honor to receive honorary members into the FFA. The purpose of this ceremony is to recognize from time to time the efforts of others made in our behalf. Madam Secretary, please read the section of the National Constitution which provides for honorary membership. Honorary membership, farmers, school superintendents, principals, members of boards of education, chapter advisors, teachers, staff members in agricultural education, business people, and others who are helping to advance agricultural education and the FFA, and who have rendered outstanding service, may be elected to honorary membership by a majority of members present at any regular meeting or convention. Today we introduce those who are to receive this honor. Mr. President, members, and guests, I am pleased to read the following names. David De Silva, Lonnie Jin, Brent Halleck, Dan Hostletler, Hugh Mooney, Dr. Vincent Petrucci. Mr. David De Silva has dedicated more than 37 years to agriculture education in California. Mr. De Silva was a high school agriculture teacher for seven years split between Riverdale High School and Hanford High School. He then spent 30 years as an instructor at the College of the Sequoias Junior College in Visalia, California. Mr. De Silva found success as a CDE coach. He coached seven state winning dairy products teams with three teams winning a national title. He has also coached a state-winning parliamentary procedure team. Along with his success as a coach, he has served as a parliamentary procedure state finals judge and coordinated FFA and CATA events at the College of the Sequoias. Congratulations, Mr. De Silva. Mr. Lonnie Jin serves as an instructional support technician in the Cal Poly San Luis Obispo Horticulture and Crop Science Department. In this role, he is responsible for everything on the department farm, which includes assisting faculty with labs and special projects, growing pumpkins with the crops club, and teaching labs. He is a licensed pest control advisor and has a qualified applicator's license. His work at Cal Poly over the past 17 years has benefited many Cal Poly students who eventually became agriculture teachers. Mr. Jin has also served as the state vegetable contest advisor for the past 16 years. As the vegetable contest advisor, he is responsible for setting up the classes, acquiring industry leaders as judges, working with the contest chair and tabulation chair to facilitate the contest, overseeing the group leaders, and grading the identification portion of the contest. Thank you, Mr. Jin, and congratulations. Dr. Brent Halleck spent 33 years as a professor at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. During his time at Cal Poly, he spent 10 years as the department head of the soil science department. His life goal has been the improvement of soil health. One of the ways he has worked to achieve this goal is through working with the California FFA Association to educate FFA members. He served as the contest advisor and state judge for the land judging contest from 1982 to 2013. During the 31 years he has assisted FFA with the land judging contest, he has served as a judge at several field days, including Tulare, Merced, Fresno, and Kalinga contests. As advisor, he was responsible for selecting pit locations, digging pits, judging the sites, and overseeing the tabulations each year. Thank you, Dr. Halleck, for your support, and congratulations. Mr. Dan Hostetler has been an influential member of the Cal Poly Pomona College of Agriculture for over 35 years. During his time at Cal Poly Pomona, he has served and mentored FFA members by coordinating the Cal Poly Pomona Field Day Vegetable Crop Contest, provided agriculture industry tour opportunities for the state FFA officer team, 
conducted campus and farm tours for high school students and served as the interim department head for the Cal Poly Pomona Agriculture Education Department. He also served as the interim advisor to the undergraduate agricultural sciences students and the agriculture education credential candidates. In this role, he played an influential part in ensuring that Cal Poly Pomona continued to educate and certify high school agriculture teachers. Congratulations, Mr. Hostetler. Hugh Mooney started teaching in 1984 at Big Valley High School in Bieber. He then joined the Agriculture Department at Galt High School in 1990. During his time at Galt, he was instrumental in the writing and implementation of the California Partnership Academy Grant for Galt Agriculture Department, which is still in place today. He was a CATA Teacher of Excellence in 1995, and the program was awarded the CATA State Outstanding Secondary Program and NAAE Western Region Outstanding Agriculture Program in 2001. Mr. Mooney also served as a CATA Regional and State Officer prior to leaving Galt in 2007. Mr. Mooney now serves as the North Coast Regional Supervisor. Mr. Mooney's favorite quote is, students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Throughout his career, Mr. Mooney has demonstrated that he truly cares for agriculture education and the FFA. Congratulations, Mr. Mooney. Dr. Vincent Petrucci began his career at Fresno State College in the fall of 1948 after graduating from UC Davis. Professor Petrucci taught viticulture classes through the Plant Science and Mechanized Agriculture Department for over 40 years. By 1985, Dr. Petrucci became the director of what became the Viticulture and Enology Research Center. As professor of viticulture and director of research, his mission was to train and educate students for employment in the grape and wine industry and to respond to the industry's request for practical research. During his time at Fresno State, he came in contact with many FFA members and future agriculture teachers. He worked behind the scenes organizing the state cotton judging finals, state vine pruning finals, state citrus judging finals, and much more. Congratulations, Dr. Petrucci. Will the officers please join me on stage? I welcome you as friends of the FFA. It is my privilege to extend to each of you the symbolic hand clasp of friendship and brotherhood. As reporter, I am pleased to inform you that the FFA is a national youth organization whose purpose is to develop agriculture leaders. Welcome to membership. Your contribution as a useful citizen in our democracy serves as an example for our members to follow. As treasurer, I welcome you to our organization. The FFA seeks counsel and guidance from recognized leaders. It is my privilege as secretary to add your names to our role of honorary membership. As vice president, I welcome you to the FFA. I would inform you that our members learn to appreciate the dignity of labor. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. On behalf of every member, on behalf of every member, I wish to say we are proud to have you as honorary members. May this affiliation prove valuable to all. I impress upon you that we look to you for guidance and counsel. It is because of the great respect that we have for you that you have been elected to honorary membership. May we always cooperate for the benefit of all. I now confer upon you honorary membership in the California FFA Association and present to you this token of membership. Congratulations. Yeah. California FFA, let's congratulate our honorary state degree recipients one last time. <laughs> <laughs>